How about we betray him after this thing has gotten itself killed? Just a thought. I'm throwing it out there. Just get this thing killed first. And then we kill him. Has got itself killed? No, 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 no. He said brother. Bro he said brother. I'm just... Actually, is there... Is there a non... Is there like a non-male, non-female way to say brother or sister? I actually have no idea. Uh, thank you. Flesh will remain here until called. But don't fear. He has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work. Okay. So, we also know that you very likely have a thingy, right? Um, a tap pool in your head, so... Okay, but you are resistant to bludgeon, piercing, slashing, alert. Aw, can't be surprised. That's annoying. When you deal damage with a spell, deal an additional 1d8 necrotic. Once per turn, if you kill a creature with a spell, you regain hit points equal to twice the spell slot level used. Okay. Cannot not be controlled. Sure, it's fine. Magic resist. Sure. Opportunity attack. Sure. Turn resistance. Sure. Undead ward. Allied undead within six meters are resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, piercing. Okay. It says six here and it says nine here. That's kind of weird. Intelligence based. Good to know. Okay. So I'm assuming. Also, initiative plus seven, which I think Asterian just beats. So. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we're dealing with you at some point. I don't know about today. The issue is I kind of want to get these things killed first, don't I? Um, how am I doing power level wise? Not extraordinarily well. This is going back. We still also have this these parts that we still haven't looked at. We have the trials here, and I'm assuming there's more trials there, so... Okay. Ah, stop! I really do need to stop clicking on this door. I really don't mean to, it just keeps happening. So, did I have a look over here yet? Right, we never actually went to the altar and the traversal gem stuff, did we? So the question is really, because I'm assuming we're going to have to do the trial of Shar at some point. I also kind of want to do the House of Healing after I take a long rest, because uh, that's another little quest that I'm kind of curious. So many must have toiled to make a visage so grand. It's beautiful. See you, Ella. Thanks for being here. Might not be the time. Might not be the time yet. That is still reckoning. On the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your lady Shah. Surmount her trials and rise a dark justicia. Well, that's why it's called justicia. Because it's Shah. Rhymes. This place is legendary. <sighs> Even with half my memories locked away, I still remember the stories. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose from this place. Now I'm here. Oh. 
What are these trials, Shadowheart? In order to join Lady Shah's elite, you had to pass her trials, then make a sacrifice in her innermost sanctum. One revealed only when you've proven yourself. Very few made it that far. I've dreamed of this place. This is my destiny. I must complete the trials. Okay. Are you sure this is what you want? You know me better than most. But I need to find out if I'm worthy. If I prove myself to Lady Shah, she'll bless me with power. Power we can use to take on the Absolute and rid ourselves of these parasites once and for all. Let's explore. Okay. Don't have anything to put here. Oh, this is probably the final one then, right? Inscriptions. There's nothing more for us to do here. There are recesses on the altar that look intended to house something. Another something. Right, so we have to do the trials and then that'll give us something that we can put over here, right? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um... Then we don't really have anything else but to start these trials, right? I feel like I'm about to get myself killed, but... Oh well. Do I just, like, move... I think here's the big question. Do I feel like I need to move everybody into into those tests? Or do I feel like just Shadowheart would be possible? Her most vaunted treasure. Because we can't go back, which no time to waste. scares me a little. Need to keep going. Better take a look. The bowl contains an ancient rust-colored blood stain. It forms a neat disc, as if spilled calmly and willingly. You recognize this as a trial where initiates would prove themselves to Lady Shah. This one would put their skills of stealth and infiltration to the test. Reach the other side to receive my gift. they want stealth is a virtue derived from her very essence oh are we turning this into a fucking mini game is that what's happening wait where's the end Ends over there. I must keep going. Unseen. Perfect. Off I go. Did, did I just get spotted? Don't know if that counts. Wait, hold on a second. Can I cheat this? Dark vision, but they don't have... Is that a thing? Watch your back. Attention. 
Oh, the door's locked. Oh, that's... Oh, that's fun. I want to try something out of actual sheer curiosity. Area must be lightly or heavily obscured. Hold up. Stepping softly. I need to concentrate. Let's move you out of the way. What is still lighting you up? Wait, what's the light source? This is an actual question. What are you... What are you lit up with? Damn it. I was hoping that I'd be able to umbral shroud this. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay. Ready. Like, I kind of want to just, like, cast invisibility and walk in, but uh, that's a good idea. How many can we see? We have this one. We can always pause with shift space, right? It's always a possibility. Okay, you... Come over here. Then you turn away. Okay, that does that. What does that mean? the way has changed cool so now this area is safe so now you can't move through any of this except for here which moves you wait so now the only thing I can do is either go this way Move the entire way over here, and then move past here. Or, go here. Do this entire th thing. That's a trap. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. To be fair, the other option... I do have a potion of invisibility. I do want to mention that I do have that. Actually, that might be the smartest choice. Also, there's a button here. What happens if I push the button? Okay, hold on. Let's hold off until... This one comes back. And have a look what happens if I push the button. You move like that. Move there. You go in here. Do the whole shtick over here. And then. What happens if I push this? And that opens. Okay, good to know. And that place... It's 
a door over here. Technically, we can enter it by going past here. Like, right now, I have, like, a straight shot, right? Don't I? I just need to make sure that I don't run into you, pretty much. Because you go that way. And then you turn around. It should be fine. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this works, alright? Worst case scenario, if I see something come closer, I'll freeze it and I'll take a potion of invisibility. Okay. Traps. How considerate. Wait, did I? Oh, that's a trap. Oh, that's fun. Wait, was it the trap that got me, or? Oh, that's why. Okay, so that's why it doesn't matter. If they see me, it doesn't immediately force me into combat. It just... knocks me out. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Let's try this again. Now we actually... Now we know that there's not at least that heavy of a punishment on it, I guess. Move Okay. Big action dash. Get over here. Right? Let's turn off turn base for a second. just opens that door. With ease. I mean, I can just pick it. Okay. What just happened? <laughs> I think I did it. The first sign completed. The first sign you are worthy. Continue. Do not fail me. Okay. Um. That's actually really cool. What to do? Okay then. On my way. Okay, we did it. How many of these are there?
Which one was this? Self same trial. I mean, out of role playing. Can't afford any mistakes. Purposes. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Okay. Another of Lady Shah's trials that her initiates must face. This one would challenge their combat prowess. Oh. Vanquish your old life to receive my wisdom. Say what now? Okay. If I'm about to TPK. that we are our own worst enemy much of the time her embrace will elude us until we shed that which holds us back Shar has created this reflection as a test if a creature attacks a reflection that is not their own it incurs cheaters folly as all ability scores reduced by one for attacking a reflection that is not their own. I'm sorry, what now? <laughs> Somehow that seems like, uh, I think the word is bullshit. Wait, does that mean there's actually... Oh, please, for the love of God, don't tell me there's like actual level 8 versions of myself in here like level 1 let's 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 say level 1 how about that i feel like if if i pass through that i feel like they're going to shut and Asterian's going to get to do all of this by himself and get himself killed Have Asterian. Move up first. Where are these reflections that you're talking about, buddy? Prime spot for an ambush. Shadowheart, Gale, Elf. Who's Elf? Oh, is that me? Oh, that's me. Oh, you legitimately are. You are legitimately. Okay. Oh no. Oh, you guys are exact fucking copies. Uh oh. Oh, this is problematic. Oh, fuck. Where's Asterion? Um... Elf... Gale... Shadowheart... Where's number four? There you go. Wait, no, I am level 7. This is... You guys are fighting me at my level. That's annoying. Especially because Gale has 
absolutely nothing left. <laughs> Okay, Asterion should be faster than literally everything here. So that's not an issue. Why do you have 71 hit points? Mirrors. Ambushing. Radiant damage against this entity is doubled. Wait, is that a thing for all of them? Hold up. Is that a thing? Yeah, it is. Good to know. I like thinking how I do this positioning wise. Because I could move over here and take my shot. I really need to hope I have higher initiative than he does, if I'm being perfectly honest. I think this is fine positioning wise. The one thing I need to be careful about is how I deal with the rest of you, but we can get to that point in a second. Okay. Okay. Good news. Bad news. No advantage. But that's fine. We'll get to that in a second. 47. Okay. We do get a surprise round, which is really good. And I might actually be able to abuse the fact that they're weak to shit. I have Sunbeam, right? I have a sunbeam spell. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, uh, give me a second, I need to find my coin. What's heads and what's tails again? <laughs> Sorry, I had to look for my coins. Couldn't find them for a second. Lad, what was heads? What was tail again? I'm <laughs> gonna flip a coin to see what is what. Okay. While you do that, I'm gonna position Shadowheart to sunbeam something. Is it? Did it get added here? Heads, water, tail, whatever drink you have on hand, which would be water. <laughs> okay. 
Um, you see this? Heads. The Yu-Gi-Oh coin, because why the hell not? Heads, buddy. But thanks for the hydrate. <laughs> So water, water. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Um, where is my... Oh, okay. Where is my... Sunbeam spell? Oh, there you go. Sunbeam, 68 radiance. Uh... Scam, yeah. Honestly, if it wouldn't have been if it wouldn't have been heads, I would have just said I owe you one for next time. When I have like a cup of coffee next to me or something. Um Sunbeam? Sunbeam. Wow. <laughs> I just one shot you. How am I doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. I finally get to play some more Boulder's Gate, so I'm pretty happy. Okay. Never wanted the easy bomb. Jareth. Um Actually Gareth also has a pretty easy time. I actually ironically enough think Gale's gonna be the one who has the toughest time. Because Gale has nothing proper in terms of like good shit. You can get him there, right? Yeah, I think so. I think Gale's gonna be the one who has the biggest issue, to be fair, which is annoying. The dance it's Asterian. Actually, let's deal with this first. Actually, no, I don't want to deal with this first, because if I deal with this first, this there's a good this chance that I won't be able to pass through here. Wonder if the gods are watching me. God damn, it's a short little bit of distance. <gasps> okay. Here we go, boys. One attack, throw in a third level smite. Oh, do right. Luck of the Four Realms. Third level smite. <gasps> what the fuck? That's 98 points of damage. What the fuck? I can live with this. <laughs> Let's spill some blood. Alright. Now. Move you over here. Wait. So now... That's a lot of damage. Yeah, fuck it is, yes. God. How about a little more? I'm about to. Um, okay. So let's... Bonus action hide. Which... Should be possible here. And then I can... Sneak attack. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Oh, that's my sneak attack gone too. Oh, that would have been a crit. You would have been dead. 
fuck! Okay, the one good piece of news, though, is that apparently when a creature kills their... their... When a creature kills their mirror, they can apparently attack the others, so that's good. Ah, oh, fuck, how do we handle Gale? That is a very good question. Do I just not... Do I... Hold on. Also, how's Cheater's Folly... How's this written? Has Cheater's Folly written? Affected for attacking a reflection... For attacking a reflection that's not their own. Because what I'm thinking... Is... Maybe I don't want to... Maybe I don't want to waste my third level spell slot because then I can counter spell. And that is going to make Gale not useless... But it is going to make it so that he doesn't really have a play to make anymore. Which, to be perfectly honest, in and of itself, that's not a bad thing. Especially with Gil literally having 22 hit points. Gil get... Can Gil do the same little piss pass that... Because I'm especially thinking this, because like... I'm especially thinking this because if Gale can just move up here and smack Gale in the face, we're technically done, right? The problem is I just don't have a decent, like, I don't think I have a decent scroll I won't give in. that I can give to Gale that, like, lets him kill his his compate or like his reflection in greater invisibility that's not gonna do anything so I actually think I just have Gale handle this what? honestly the boring way namely we just chuck a second level scorching ray at him Do I have Scorching Ray prepared? I do not. I have Shatter prepared. Shatter works. Thunderway? Is this an option? No, Thunderway is not an option because I want to stay within range, right? Yeah, I want to stay within range. Never mind. I want to stay within range so I can counterspell. Yeah, okay. Did I just deal four points of damage with a shatter? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. Oh, he's resistant to thunder damage. Never mind. That's on me. Okay. You're surprised. Alright, let's start moving Got to move. characters in. I'm gonna leave you right over there. How smart. Where do I go from here? I'm gonna move Gareth very well over here. This is no, I don't wanna. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Hail of thorns on his. That's fine. That's. Shadow blend. The fuck is a shadow blend? When did you get shadow blend? The fuck is a shadow blend? Do you have shadow blend? You take a shadow. I mean, uh, 
I don't like this. I don't have shadow blends. I want shadow blends. Give me shadow blends. How did you get this? I don't like you anymore. Oh, there you go. Hi there. At least stop being a dick. Now die. What are you rolling? Oh, you have 19 AC. I don't... Wait, hold on. I have... Wait. Plus 2, plus 3, plus 2, plus 4. That's 5, 7, plus 11. God, I need to roll a 9. And take a shadow, you blend it simple. <laughs> oh. Wait, hold on. Why did I not get to counter that? Okay, then? Apparently countering's not a thing anymore? Certainly. Apparently counterspell's not a thing anymore. Well, fuck you. Piece of shit. Okay, hold up. Let's... Start with this. Let's go. One day Gareth, catch a break. Please, for the love of God, punch him in the face. Very hard. There you go. Okay. That's at least gonna get rid of the fireballs. I don't fancy that chances. Um, I need to kill you right now. What are you resistant to? Thunder, okay, so no thunder, no fire, no lightning, no colds, no acid. So... If we do a third level magic missile, <laughs> how much is that? That's six missiles, two and three and a half each. That's 21 on average. What do you mean cannot find path? Buddy, I can find a path. Oh, come on, really? Buddy, come on. Buddy, I can see the fucking path. What are you talking about? You're kidding. What the actual fuck? Are you for real right now? There you go. What now? Let's do it like that then, I guess. Fucking hell. So I have one free misty step, and I'm not using it anyway. At least your attacks are at disadvantage now. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, because you can bonus action disengage, you piece of shit. Um... I'm actually... going to... What do I have? I kind of... Goodbye. 
You know what? Sure, that works too. Um, and then dash. I think I'm long resting after this. Just saying. Yeah, disengage. Some healing for a wizard in need. Well, I just lost my action. That's fun. Can you like can can you like hit this? Just pretty please. Thank you. Actually very much appreciated. You know what? Go fuck yourself. Okay. Killer's Sweetheart. What the hell is Killer's Sweetheart? When you kill a creature, your next attack roll will be a critical hit. Once spent, this effect refreshes after a long rest. Uh... Yes, please? Wait, don't I have to... Oh, there you go. Umbral gem, I figured. So just the last one had it then. Okay, this was pretty bad actually. So we have two now. I'm not going to fight anything if I don't have to. Time to press ahead. But I do want to see. Is it saying there's rats down there? I worried now. This last rat tried to kill me. You know what? No. No. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Legitimately. That's a friendly looking shadow. Her most sacred path. I legitimately do not give a flying fuck. Need to find a way forward.
There's something in there already. I'm not gonna fight it, but I am kind of curious. Justiciar Nightweavers. There's Justiciars in there. And they've been trying to kill me last time, so I'm assuming they're not friendly. So, um... Let's not deal with these guys. Yet. Okay. Alright. Before we do this. Okay, this is a really cool camp, I will say that. Are you are you having a chat with Withers? Hey you. I made it. Easy peasy. You find Mum and Pops. Well hurry. They gotta be somewhere, and I don't want them worrying. Then I'll teach you to conjure those vines. Alright. Can I touch your face? No. <laughs> oh, that's the dumbest detail and I love it. Can I touch your face? No. Oh, I love it. Hi. Hello. Playtime's over, pet. Why? Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting them out. Um, and this is our problem how exactly? <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemure. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. We'll rescue your acid in one condition. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Saving your life. Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Rescue this acid if you release Will from his pact. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? We could always let the cult infect the acid. Bet they make a loyal thrall. I think that's just enough, right? Nice. Nice. 
incredible. You actually think you hold the winning hand? Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. That's fine. You've heard of this provision. Better known as the You First Clause. <laughs> now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. Well, that was funky. So... You okay, Will? The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Hey. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. <laughs> I could not disagree with that one. Uh should be gone soon enough. Do this mission in Missouri will free you from the pact. Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it, but I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can already feel her scheming. She won't let me go without a fuss. Trust me on this. <laughs> Any idea who this devil is that needs freeing? Not a one. All that matters is that we free it. Fail. And I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. So, uh, yeah, it's horrifying. So sorry. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> Cultists have taken your father to Moonrise Towers. Florix confirmed it. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise. Do we trust Florix? I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked father from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The Counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tears heartbeat, as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Father's at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. All right, to Moonrise then. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. Cool. All right, Shaddy. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. I have no problems with Shar worshippers if that's what concerns you. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the Night and Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her? Remind me. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer. The patron of darkness and loss. Did we have to pick up, like, a weapon called the Night Song at some point? I've been getting, like, little references to that, and I get the feeling that's connected. They've guaranteed, like, said something like that, haven't they? Anyway. Uh, fascinating. Please continue. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear. Beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain. Hope. The promise of better days. 
All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked. Beyond the vanities of mortals. By all means, be naked. I mean, uh, yes, naked. Mm hmm. How exactly do Shah worshippers turn people to their goddess? We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. I'm not gonna cast judgment on your voice. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. You you are aware that I both am a paladin and in a pat an oath breaker paladin, I might add, and a warlock. Like I I don't I don't wanna be a dick. But you know. Very serious of you, but go ahead. Never had a relationship quite like this one. Even if I could remember, I'm not sure I'd tell you. No. I don't want your ego to get overinflated. I'm just having a chat with everybody at this point. I feel the weave growing more distant by the moment. We walk Shah's path now. Best we don't spend Dude, you look like shadow. shit. What the hell? You look like shit, buddy. Oh, Carlyle. Also wants to have a chat. Oh, this temple certainly is grand. Uh, well, it's a rundown bearing the weight of centuries sort of grand, which is my favorite kind, incidentally. Are we really going to trust that devil to keep his worth if we kill this Orthon? I'd trust a devil over a vampire any day. I think he likes us. <laughs> I like him too, I never say that to a smarmy face. Perhaps if we kill this Orthon extra bloody, he'll invite us for tea and brandy back in his house. He tried that, remember? Like. God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? Oh fucking no! We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me, or something far worse? Heard Mizora. It's the last thing we'll have to do for her. Then he's free. I want to believe that as much as you do, almost as much as Will does. But I just know there will be more to the story. There always is. It's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You'd never win. Not ever. Mm. Possible. Something good here, I hope. All right. Um This long rest. So, um Before I do this, there's a little thing. Um, I do want to continue the Gauntlet of Shar. However, I actually specifically started the Mausoleum 
because I wanted to be at full power before I went into uh, the House of Healing. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm actually going to do the House of Healing first because I think there's more of a time limit, quote-unquote, on that. Sarian, you okay, buddy? Okay. That was weird. Because this is supposed to be... Let's get going. The House of Healing. to fire resistant why is everything resistant to non-magical bludgeoning them is these days fuck you know permanently armed oh cannot be disarmed why because it's literally in her hands i assume are we sneaking in or are we having a chat House of Healing. What did, what what was in the House of Healing thing? Uh, Arabelle's parents find Zephlor, punish the wicked. Wasn't there? Wasn't there a thing? Hold up, where is it? I feel like we needed to go here for some weird reason. How do you get in? Oh, there. There you go. And Chimera. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, switches. I know I can do this. Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. Tree what now? Is that Arabella's father she's tending? Our little idle thief has some terrible luck. Why are you treating a dead body? Not dead. Merely medicated. To ease the pain. I see now. You're sleeping peacefully. I think your work here is already done. I 
Thank God for good persuasion. Yes. Yes. I knew these hands would not fail me. The patient is sure to recover. Can I purchase some supplies? Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. What the hell do you mm. Uh, I would like that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, yes, please. Might as well buy these as well. Not gonna use the toxins. I'll sell stuff at some point. Really should sell stuff at some point. Do I have, like, stuff that I really don't need? Uh, pretty sure. Oh, right. I should... What I should be doing is click trade. Sell some stuff just to have a little more. Uh, here, have a rusty greatsword, have a dagger, have a hat, have a ring, have another ring. Oh, wait, no. It's a cup of oil. Probably use that. Only function, yeah, in the Gauntlet of Shar, I figured. Now, if you will excuse me. What's inside? Some stuff here. There's balls here. Okay. Okay. Did I go in through the wrong side? Hi. Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Okay. Be patient. Be well. What line? Am I missing something? I... You're slightly weird. Gotta be... Okay. Gotta be honest, buddy. What the hell? Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. 
Oi. My dear lady, look at my complexion. I am at death's door. As pale as a ghost. You must see the doctor immediately. Down to the theater. Be swift. Be saved. Never a dull moment. Say what now? I have to keep going. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Can I break into your chest first? Why is this the one you care about? Oh, because you're looking at that one. Um. So where are we going? The fuck? Did you just say in surgery? Okay, okay. That's... Interesting. Is it weird? Out of sheer... Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Curiosity. Which I'm mostly asking... for safety reasons. If I would be over here, right? Curse, fuck. Right, I can't actually... Yeah, okay, I get it. Still alive, so that's progress. What path lies before me? Hello. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the oh. Scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. <laughs> Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Uh -huh. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. I don't want to do the House of Come, Healing anymore. Step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. A student, yes. Do please enlighten us. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. He's just like Cazador. Utterly insane. See? What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but 
In darkness there is absence. In light is presence. In darkness, absence. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us finish the cure. Sisters aren't ready, they'll make me sick instead of curing me. Thank God for guidance. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. Why not have them hone their skills on each other? I'm going to... I'm using an inspiration point for this. Come on. I have three more. Come on. This is dumb. to risk the fucking friends at this point because fuck it yes for are we not all in need of a cure the scalpel does not discriminate let each and every one of you partake in its soothing journey absent sisters acquaint yourselves <laughs> It is a proud moment when one sees one's teachings so lovingly taken to heart. You are to be commended for their graduation, rewarded with the promised cure. Come, I will acquaint you with the lady's dark-fingered embrace. I would rather acquaint myself if you show me how. <gasps> I rolled a four on the d4. Oh my god. Your diligence is exemplary. Very well. Your own scalpel you will be. Observe. Then succeed me into the sucker of Shah. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. 